Welcome back! Mary, Pippin, <laughs> Sam, where are you? Frodo! Oi! Frodo! We're over here! Yeah, I do apologize for rushing off on the second Any one, but the reason, the reason is, is because I like to do this level by level. Stay um, where you are. I'll find you. Makes more sense. We're in comfortable territory here. Hey, pro tip, if you don't want to uh, hear the same... Oh, yeah, this this is an interesting mechanic. The old forest is... Um, it changes. So you've got this solid tree in the way, and you think, Oh, my path's blocked, I can't do anything. And I go back, hear some leaves rustling. La 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 la. And <gasps> it's gone! It's, it's an interesting me it's an interesting mechanic, but yeah, there's there's spiders in here. If you're not an uh, arachno if you are not an arachnophobe like I am not, it's cool because you don't really give a crap about spiders. But what? you have to literally. S I, I reckon a, a turbo controller, which I've never owned, would be really great for those se uh, fight s sequences. But yeah. Those um, spiders, you have to literally spam the square button, which is your sword attack. And we found Lord Mary. I think Mary is the only other design other than Frodo of the hobbits that I don't mind. Pippin just looks too not hobbity. Sam just looks dreadful. He's going to try and... Yeah, these spiders, when, when they attack you, they just... You know, I think they have, like, three attacks. Doesn't really matter, I'm just pointing out the animation, but... Um, they will knock you over, and uh, that's annoying. And uh, that's why you have to spam the... Damn it. Yeah, they do that. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 see, it doesn't seem too obvious, but you really need to jump. Uh, and this is why the ring is helpful. Damn it. Yeah, they do that, which is really annoying. That they'll knock you over, and then the other one will attack. There's, it's so unfair. It's just, I don't know. But, you know, if you could actually use your block for, uh, you can block, just not very well. You know, when you block, you get injured. So I found it interesting, the first, the first, let's, uh, the first episode of my Let's Play was only, it was 40 minutes. The second one was 20. <laughs> I have no idea how long this one will be. Oh, spiders' dead bodies are pretty helpful, actually, because they can mark out where you've been. I wish I didn't have the spiders, but I'm... Ah, that's the second attack, and that's... The atta oh, God, right, so... This is where your mushrooms come in handy. Yeah. Uh, we were there before, probably. It's an interesting map, but it does get annoying, this one, because it changes all the time. <sighs> I mean, you'd think you'd be able to map it out because there aren't that many changes, but, you know, I, I've never bothered. So about 20 minutes ago, I was going to say, one of the... Th no, you don't want to go this way. If you go back to the beginning of a level, or if you don't move along too quickly, the music recycles... And the issue with that is that it goes back to that creepy um, sneaking away music um, from the uh, ring race. And if you're not a fan of that piece of music, which I am, but it still makes me feel a bit uncertain and uneasy um, after all these years, um, you know, it, it will repeat. And it's not. It's also annoying because you're thinking, well, I'm not, you know, I'm not supposed to be here. Being chased by. So yeah, I'll just show you the block. Not very good, is it? 
you still get damaged. So I would say the, your best form of combat um, fighting enemies is to, well, as Frodo, is to attack like crazy and then jump away occasionally because they will just end up uh, throwing in a few attacks here and there. You cannot fight um, big enemies by yourself. You you know you need Aragorn or Gimli or, or someone to defend you. Also, if you get hit, um, not like I did there, but if you do get hit, you should jump back, like hit and uh, jump back, because otherwise they will get a second attack on you. Let's see if I can do it here, if he attacks me in time. No, he doesn't. Pwn him. I have to pwn him a long time. Pretty weird. Yeah, the music here is pretty lame. <laughs> uh, so I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a person who enjoys their music, and I think that uh, the music's fine in this game. It gets a bit repetitive at times, and sometimes uh, I don't think it was Jeremy Soul. I, I may be wrong. I don't know. Surprisingly, very good soundtrack from Jeremy Soul is um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which I will probably end up playing because it's one of my favourite games. Best Harry Potter game, I would say, arguably. And the reason is, is, it's just a fun exploration game. Uh, you don't need to have all this over-the-top stuff. And, uh, yeah, I, I, like I said, I, I'm, I, once I'm, I'm immersed in this game, it's very difficult providing commentary. And I really hope, because I haven't checked this video yet, or the previous ones, that, because I'm doing this in one go, I, it, you know, I, I, I film a video, pause, uh, pause in between, and then come back to another one. I probably won't be doing editing much on these videos because I have very limited experience of editing. I'm also not really interested in changing my content too much. Oh yeah, I listen to the music. It's gone back to that scary music. Yeah, like I said, that, that was an opportunity for me to... I got attacked, he got a hit in, and I should have jumped away. You don't have... I have to say, the companions in this are bloody useless. I don't know. There are, there are really games where a companion is, is, is very good as, you know, a companion. You know, they're supposed to be there to help defend you and you know provide aid and blah 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 and actually be able to you know kill enemies but most of the time I found that they just kind of run around get lost you know who have I got following me Pippin oh, okay that's great where's Mary <laughs> god if I know for all I know he's standing around and kind of going no, you can't really do it as them like, the, sorry, I, I, the, what, what I'm trying to say is if you've, you've seen this game before in the animation of this game, your companions kind of just stand around and walk side to side and they suck. Your companions suck. Frodo should have gone to Mordor by himself from the beginning. Frodo, the, the Spider Slayer. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I do apologise for the uh, the quote shaky cam, but uh, nothing I can do about it. I never thought potatoes could smell so good. A good meal will definitely ease my mind about this place. Just like bad Where stuff. Where is this yeah. place? Very close to the Withy Window Valley. We shouldn't get any closer. Why not? The Withy Window Valley is said to be the yeah, I'm using a tripod. The whole forest. Yeah, this I bought online, so I can turn these. Can you lead us around the valley, Mary? I thought I could, but the way these trees shift about, I don't know. It's, it's like they're leading us there. How nerdy have I made myself sound in the first few videos? Leave a comment below and tell me how much you despise me, or think I'm missing a point or something, or blather on. Yeah, whatever. 
these segments annoy me because you're in a uh, you're in a bit of dialogue and then in like some scenery and you thought hmm I could explore the scenery no I, I, I don't know what they included they should have just gone straight into the loading screen but instead you get to jump around for two seconds by a campfire and I don't want to go back to the front here because the music will change and it bugs the hell out of me I, 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 when I listen, to, so when I'm playing a game, I, I would prefer they use the music they intended to use, not loop the music. Can't go on. Ugh, must have nap. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, your first boss battle. Ow. That didn't go well. Stop! Stop it! Oh yeah. I forget how to do this. Right, so you're supposed to run back and forth between his hands, hit a hand, and then you run like hell. This is why you can't stand the boss battles in this, in this uh... Bit. I don't know. The boss battles in this game are not very good. This is Old Man Willow, eating my friends. I don't know where Sam's gone, because um, I think I can't remember if all of them get eaten in the book, not eaten, but in the mouth of the, wind, the Old Man Willow. But you can see Mary and Pippin inside but I have no idea where Sam is. Oh no he's over there, he's asleep, I can see him. He's in the far left. I don't know if you can see him because he might be out of the frame. Oh, steady there little fellows. Where be you a going to, huh? Popping like a bellows. What's the matter then? Come now, tell me what's your trouble. My friends are caught in that willow tree. Still my willow? I know that rhyme for him. I'll chant his marrow coal if he don't behave himself. You let them out again, old man Willow. You should not be waking. Eater, drink water, go to sleep. Somebody is talking. Yeah. Right, I like Tom Bombadil in this game, but the songs aren't very rhyming. If you've seen the extended cut of the Lord of the Rings Two Towers, there's a little homage to uh, um, Old Man Willow, and Treebird um, puts him to sleep. You should not be waking. Eat earth, drink water, dig deep, go to sleep. He just does it like that. Way better than... Ye should not be waking, singing songs of old and or I don't know. I like Tom Bombadil. He's, he's the, the most pointless character in the entire, entire Tolkien mythos. Um, and yet people get so upset that he wasn't included in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> uh, ah. Okay, I'm gonna put the ring on. Son of a bitch. Anyway, you do not need to kill a single spider here. I think the music's going to recycle itself. I'm not a fan of when the music recycles itself. Like that, yeah. See, we're back to... Okay, so I think it's 11 or is it 12 you need to get a uh, quest to see. 12, okay, you need 12, 12 um, water lilies for the daughter of the river, Goldberry, as a present from Tom Bombadil, Lazy Sod. And, uh, 
They're nice enough to include more than just 12 in this section. So you actually end up with... I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but you can carry a water lily with you throughout your entire quest. Sorry, it's working a bit. Ugh. Yeah, you can carry a water lily with you throughout your entire quest because they put too many in the section, which um, I think was a silly mistake. I don't know. A silly lily mistake. Let's just put the ring on for a second there. I don't know if he's going to see me. I really hate the shaky cam. When I say the shaky cam or whatever, the, the tracking cam. They, the, oh, I'm stuck. The, the, the spiders, when enemies are chasing you, your cam sort of auto locks onto them and it's really, really irritating. Because I'm trying to focus on escaping and all I've got is spiders uh, scuffing after me and my camera trying to focus on them. I mean, it would help for combat and all, but, um, you know, I'm not interested in combat because I'm playing as Frodo. Yeah, uh, someone, uh, the search critic was saying how uh, Frodo in the, the Ralph Bakshi version is better because he actually does stuff, he actually fights, and I completely agree. Um, I do love Elijah Wood's performance, and he plays per perfectly what Frodo is. The only thing he never got down was, I think, that Frodo's heroism isn't explored enough. Uh, you know, his ability to uh, wield the ring is, is explored, his, his suffering is explored, um, the effect it has on him as well as his friends, his relationship with Sam is pushed to the max even further in the film than one might argue the book because they actually separate Sam and Frodo, etc. But, um, yeah. Frodo actually fighting the ring, the, the ring race, and that's not an issue I have. I think in the, in the film it's fine that he drops his sword because you're supposed to be terrified of, of the ring race, and that makes sense. But Frodo should have... Um, you see him charge into battle in that Moria sequence when all the doors break down, and I feel like there should have been at least him... He, he's in the background, I'm sure, but I would have liked to have seen a close-up or, or it's just stabbing one bloody orc. Just so we know he's actually done something. Because it does make him look like he hasn't killed a single orc, as the unusual suspect was trying to point out. And he has! There's no question that Frodo has killed an orc. Um, but the problem is you don't see it in the direct front grounds, and uh, that's problematic. Right, uh... Oh good, we're back to the normal music. Yeah, so I have collected 12 uh, water lilies, and uh, that's another water lily. I don't need it, but if I want to, I can collect it. Tom, fair lilies for the fair fair attention. Daughter. Come, let us go to meet her. Ugh, no battery, but plug it in. Hopefully that's charging. <sighs> Yeah. I think I'm gonna include up to the end of. Come, oh, God. Guess who I voice actress it. is? Daughter sorry. Guess who's voicing the daughter of uh, Goldberry? If your answer was Jennifer Hale, you are absolutely goddamn right. Jennifer Hale, who plays Basta Sean, actually looks like Basta Sean in real life. Oh, so my health has healed. I was curious. So I didn't I didn't bother taking too many mushrooms. Haha, ha, that sounds hilarious. I didn't bother taking too many mushrooms in that segment because I wanted to see would I receive full health in between. Which would make sense because I've just been given a bit of health and respite from Tom Bombadil's place. You know, the problem with me talking is that I start talking um, and then I realise that I've mentioned something which is a reference to something. <laughs> I watch too much stuff. Okay, so I, I, if I ever meet Graham McTavish, who played Dwalin, Dwalin, one of my favourite uh, dwarfs in the, the, the Hobbit, absolutely brilliantly designed. I made a custom of him, and I think my custom looks pretty good. The tattoos on his head was definitely very difficult to paint. Anyway, uh, shout out to Figure Realm again, uh, <laughs> which my username is Deditor, by the way, in case you didn't realise. 
Uh, that sounds so shameless, doesn't it? shameful, doesn't it? Plugins. I don't know. I'm not trying to do plugins. I'm just talking. Anyway, so Graham McTavish. I have to wonder. Um, in the '90s, before the Lord of the Rings film, the the trilogy, you know, came out in 2001 to 2003. There was a documentary um, which I have seen. It's still on YouTube. It's very interesting, and it covers the the three books in detail. Um, you know, and clarifies different things. There's a lot of artwork um, from you know artists other than Alan Lee and uh, John Howe, um, who are you know the, the I guess the ones who are considered like the Tolkien. Uh, illustrators as they were brought onto both The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit Project films um, but I was going to say yeah so um, against combat and my mind goes about yeah so Graham McTavish the first thing Lord of the Rings re uh, sorry Tolkien related he did as far as I can tell was he narrated uh, um, the documentary for this you know three part um extravaganza for the Lord of the Rings or whatever fellowship to Return of the King and I have to wonder did they see that like Peter Jackson, Fran Walsh and Philippa Boynes and the other um, and the casting I can never remember name uh, I want to say Amy something the person who Amy Hubbard I don't know you're expecting me to remember the UK casting anyway uh, director she I must have seen that documentary and thought let's get someone who actually likes Tolkien to be in this film but yeah, he is, he is fantastic as well. And water a little harder to kill, I think. Because you have to spam even faster. I do hate games where you have to spam your attack button. By far the hardest enemies Frodo has to fight. It's not hardest, but most awkward are the Barrow Whites, which is going to be in the next Let's Play. Would you... Tom Bombadil told us... Sorry, I forgot my tangent again. Right, my tangent uh, was, yeah, that Graham McTavish was um, the narrator for um, this Tolkien documentary. And one of the um, Tolkien experts, the, uh, one of the scholars on uh, literature, uh, the Scottish guy, he was talking about how one of the themes in Tolkien, they talk about respite. Um, or there's, He talks about there's some kind of problem like the ring race or old man willow followed by unlooked for help so farmer maggot helping or tom bombadil coming out of the blue which you know and then they find rest and comfort so they you know, they hang out with farmer maggots in his house for a bit and then they um get respite from tom bombadil and goldberry and it's going to happen again and again and again and it does happen throughout the entire book series and i think it works quite nicely like Unlook for help in a, uh, they're in Athelion, it's a dangerous place in the Two Towers. Uh, F uh, Faramir finds them and takes them to a cave and gives unlook for uh, or unexpected help and uh, re respite or whatever the term was. But yeah, the reason I'm running in circles um, is because I know this game like the back of my hand uh, and uh, I know that when I go up here, the game's gonna cut out. So yeah, I'm gonna stop here. Because I actually need to save, really, don't I? Because um, we have got to the Barrow Downs, and that music's starting again. I hate that music now. Okay, so 23 minutes—that's pretty good. From it's 24, but it's uh, talk for a bit. Uh, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that one. Next time we'll come back, we'll be in the Barrow Downs, which is a very interesting place, ethereal, creepy, Celtic. Uh, kings of old. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time.